Hey, this is the Old Gaming Geezer, and today I'm looking at a mod. The mod I'm looking at is uh, Dr. Phineas, Professor Phineas Kerbin's Vertical Production Pro Propulsion Emporium. Uh, it's kind of a, a steampunk style mod, and I have built this rocket, which I have called the Tally Ho One. And so we're going to trundle off to the, to the old moon, and we're going to you know, just see if there are any Bally Martians on there. So, uh, well, you know what? We're just going to launch this thing. I don't know what this is going to look like. All right, after we cut out the, uh, after we cut out the loading screen. Now, what I'm doing here is testing. I am testing, testing, testing this mod because I will be using it for a project in the next couple of weeks. And so I just thought I'd give it a quick test. So I'm going to launch this thing. I'm going to try and put this, this, uh, this whale oil powered rocket on the moon and return him home. Uh, yes, it's whale oil powered. So, oh, and the solid rocket boosters on the side, powered by gunpowder. Let's go. Okay, it's a bit heavy, but we're we seem to be doing okay. I'm gonna shut down the main engine because I don't think we need it right now. We're taking off and heading for the moon. <laughs> That's amazing. Oh god, you gotta love mods. Got to love the mods. Uh, I don't know what this thing is going to be like. I really don't. <laughs> uh, I've been playing with this mod. Uh, this is my first proper flight. I actually did send a curve into orbit, but I reverted because I just wanted to try something different. Um, it's got like, you know, copper canisters, run like gunpowder. Those, those, those round canisters are uh, whale oil. This big barrel here is nitrous oxide, laughing gas. All right, we're getting up, we're getting up. I'm about to drop my gunpowder uh, thing, so. There we go, lost the gunpowder. This is a, a sandbox mode, because I'm really only testing parts here. And I just had to talk about this one, because, I mean, come on, look at it. So we are trying to get up into some sort of orbit. Uh, I'm slowing down a little bit now. Why is that? Oh, I'm speeding up again, that's okay. Um... <laughs> Okay, you gotta check out this landing gear. Check out the landing gear. Check out the landing gear. <laughs> All right, let's close it back up. <laughs> Isn't that amazing? I'm going to attempt to get to the moon with this thing. I don't know how how I'm going to do that, but I'm going to attempt. Uh, what you're seeing down the bottom here is uh, orbit HUD. It's just showing my Apple apps and Perry apps. Uh, I'm, it's a new mod that I just started using. It looks pretty good. Takes up a hell of a lot less room than Flight Engineer. Uh, but it doesn't give it as much information, but that's okay. It, well, I'm trying to get my horizontal speed. All right, so at 75 kilometers, there we go. We 76 kilometers, we cut our engines. And get out here and we do a circularization burn. Setting up my circularization burn. Let's bring up this. Okay, that's way too much. Just drop it back down, drop it back down. 74, 76, close enough. Okay, let's turn on some lights here. We only have a couple of lights, but lights are important. Oh, we also have these, which are solar panels of some description. I think I've got two of them. No, for some reason I only have one. Okay. Steam solar generator. Is it giving me power back? It is not. Is it? Well, it's not because I'm got my Apple apps. As, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm currently thrusting. I'm not thrusting, maneuvering. Okay, I need to get this down because I am coming up. I'm 53 seconds away from the center node. I got a 38 second burn, so I got to start burning in about 19 seconds, maybe 20 seconds, because it takes a second for these engines to power up. I always try and start my burns a little bit before the halfway mark. And it's quite big, so let's go. And we're burning to circularize. And we're wobbly as hell, and we're off vector. There we go, get back on vector, back on vector.
About to run out of fuel in this stage. Running out of whale oil, guys. Whale oil. There we go. We're out of whale oil. Oh, man. I want to get it back on the 90, so... I'm now ignoring the maneuver node. So I will now kill the maneuver node. Okay, I'm watching my periapsis here. That's good enough for me. Okay. Right. How much Delta V do I have in this stage? Enough to get out to the moon. So let's see where the moon is. Get these bally boys off to the moon, eh? What out, chaps? Why can't I target the moon? I don't know. It's too late to burn now. I'm going to wait till it comes around. Oh, yeah, I've got an enhanced nav ball um, set up at the moment as well. Uh, it was recommended to me by another player. First time I'm using it. Okay, moon will rise. There it is, moonrise. Okay, this time, this I gotta do by eye. As soon as I get a mooner encounter. Go, oh, we're gonna stop. There we go. Well, that looks just beautiful. Perfect. Perfect. Oh, what ho, chaps. We're on the way to the moon. Now, I think we shall have a celebratory drink of sherry. Yeah, the sherry seems to be floating around the capsule. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Okay, there, this, this uh, Kerbal Engineer thing is uh, slightly breaking the illusion. Look at this. This is a wooden rocket. I've got barrels, I've got copper, copper, um, copper spherical tanks, barrels. This is a barrel of whale oil, and this is a spherical tank uh, of nitrous oxide, laughing gas. So, a whale oil rocket. <laughs> Have a ha what, 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 this is great. So that is my, um, that is my rocket. Sorry, that is my barrel capsule, and inside the barrel capsule, we have our porthole in front of us. We've got these very futuristic looking things here. I don't know what that thing is there. I don't know what that thing is there. Um, I've got my dials. Uh, pity they didn't change the dials to like really kind of old school dials. Oh, this is a thermometer. <laughs> I love it. What was that supposed to be? Some sort of telescope? Probably is. Is that a candle on a candlestick? I don't know. Okay, well, we only hold one Kerbal here, but uh, that's okay, that's okay. We've got a light. Oh, whoops. <laughs> I have a, a little lamp on there from uh, another mod. Oh, what is the name of the mod? It's the Budget budget Rockets mod, I think it's called. I can't remember what the name is. I'll, I'll make a note of it in the, in the thing afterwards. Okay, so anyway, so that's my rocket. Let's get out to the... Let's get these boys out to the moon. I heard there was some, some, some Johnny Spaceman on the moon. Well, we're going to go out to the moon and we're going to give Johnny, taste, Johnny Spaceman a taste of our British spunk, eh? All right. Coming up to our change of sphere of influence. Uh, oh, well, I, I went past it, but that's okay. I didn't make a big change. It only made a slight change to my... Um, that something's weird going on here now. Okay, there is a problem. Oh, I was still fast forwarding. The problem is I cannot create a node.
All right, we're going to go in. We're going to have to do this without maneuver nodes. I can do it without maneuver nodes. I'm hardcore like that. Right, I figure we burn now to get into lunar orbit. All right, I think that's enough. We will, of course, come around and land on the day daytime side. Let's do that. We need to do a little time warping. We'll land in that big crater over here, I think. See, is there any? There's a uh, Johnny Spaceman on the moon. Because we don't like Johnny Spaceman. Hell no. I always love the. Um, Black Adder TV show, um, where it showed up the real kind of um, the superiority complex of the British. Um, you know, Stephen Fry played in one episode. He played um, the Duke of Wellington, and he was presenting the the Prince of Wales. Um, um, a cigarette case with his regimental crest on it, and his regimental crest was. Two dead Frenchmen crossed on a field of dead Frenchmen. <laughs> and in, uh, in Blackadder Goes Forth, uh, you know, Captain Blackadder is telling a, a nurse about his, uh, you know, she's asking him, you know, had you ever had a girlfriend, you know, like skirt? Hey, didn't you have some skirt waiting for you back in England? And he goes, skirt? Ha, I never had time for skirt. When I joined the army, if you saw somebody with a skirt, you shot him and nicked his country. All right, coming in, burning now to deorbit. Ooh, a little bit more than I wanted, but you know what? That'll do. Oh, I bet you run out of power. Oh no! Should turn off my lights. Okay. I don't really have. Uh... Okay. This could get interesting. We are now spinning out of control with no power. Oh well, we're not spinning out of control because I fast forwarded there. Oh my god. Waiting for sunrise. We shall wait for sunrise. Have we got sunrise? Oh no! Kermit eclipse. Oh, this could be bad. This could be bad. We've got a Kermit eclipse. We have no power. Oh my god. This is bad. 23 kilometers up and falling. So I was saying, this mod is called uh, Professor Phineas Kerbin's Vertical Propulsion Emporium, and it's a kind of a kind of a Victorian-style rocket program parts, and uh, it's very cool, very cool. Oh man! If that sun doesn't come out from behind Kerbin soon, we are totally and utterly screwed. What a time for an eclipse. I should have consulted the almanac before we launched. Firing my engines, I just realized, is going to give me a little bit of power. Where am I in my orbit? Not too bad. If the sun comes out before my hind curve and soon, I will be okay. But it's got to come out real soon. Firing my engines. I don't know if firing my engines is going to give me power. <laughs> Let's find out. Yes, it will. Okay, firing my engines will give me a little power. Okay, give me enough power to go over onto my... I never ran out of power. Okay, I ran out of power very quickly.
This is bad. And you know what? I do know what. I mean, I've got so little energy anyway, uh, because you know electricity wasn't big in the in the nineteenth century. Okay, I'm just gonna slow down. Is what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna slow down. Oh my god, I'm losing power fast. Why isn't my engine activating? There we go. The tally ho. The tally ho! Alrighty. I don't even know if I'm gonna have enough fuel to get home. Oh! Okay, landing gear, extend. I think I'm going to be fine fuel-wise. Oh, I also have a mod that changes this to the actual, um, uh, what you call it, altitude. So this is now telling me my actual altitude over terrain. Okay. Oh, it looks like I'm coming down on a ridge. Could I have done this worse? Yes. Much worse? No. Ah, uh, right, okay. I am moving, I'm not landing on top of that ridge. No flipping way. Oh, look, I'm coming to another bloody ridge. No! Okay. This mission has been a veritable disaster. The word I'm looking for here is we Audi. Really? Okay, that was a classic case of me not being able to land. Uh, but I'm going to get my guys home. Obviously, it was the work of some... Uh, of uh, Johnny Spaceman and his henchmen. Uh, I'm gonna have to come back in force and uh, really give these guys a taste of my British spunk. <laughs> okay, uh, embarrassment, eh? What you see there is embarrassment. <laughs> yeah. I can detach that. Hopefully. Hopefully this barrel floats, because it looks like I'm going down in the water. I am so much normally much better lander than that. That was just that was just pathetic. Absolutely pathetic. And I've, I've also lost one of my parachutes. Uh-oh! Well, I don't know how much... I don't know how good... I had three parachutes on top, but now I've only got three. Sorry, I had four on top, as you can see. I've lost one along the way. <laughs> so we are 22,000 kilometers... Sorry, 22,000 meters up. We're 20, 20... Well, now we're 20... Coming up on 20 kilometers above the surface. Speed is now at 2,000 meters per second and dropping. Look at that. That's a fine example of uh, 19th century rocket technology. Queen Victoria herself would be proud. Oh, they should have, like, VR on the side. All right, 10,000 meters. Let us deploy our chutes. There we go. Hopefully they're going to be enough to slow us down. We hope. We hope because we don't know. This is the first time I'm using this mod. 
I was so put out by the lack of power by the uh, by the um, what you call it? Oh my god, I can't even think of the word by the eclipse. The, you know, because I lost power because of the eclipse. I uh, see. I don't think this mod has batteries either, so um, I could have used the stock batteries, but you know that would have just looked silly. Right, coming in for splashdown. If you hear a strange noise, that's him purring. There we go. We are home, free, and safe. Let's uh, let's deploy the nose cone. We can use that as a boat to row ourselves back. Awesome. <laughs> oh dear. Oh dear. So this is the old gaming geezer I've been using. Professor Phineas Kerbin's vertical propulsion emporium with which to create this wonderful video for you. This wonderful moving picture show. Uh, I've also been using a couple of pieces from Bargain Rockets, uh, which you both of which you'll find on the Kerbin, Kerbal Space Program forums. I'm sure you can find them on GitHub and Kerbal Forge and Curse and all of those things. Well, this is the old gaming user signing off for now. Good night, farewell, a vida zena to you. If you like this video, please hit like below. If you really like this video, maybe you'd like to subscribe. Bye bye.